Cruise news with positive COVID cases on board. One cruise is recommending that guests wear a mask. I'm going to get you the information on that. Additionally, we have some cruise cancellations and a sickness outbreak on another ship. Loads of cruise industry news. We're going to get you the information. We're going to get it to you fast coming up. Welcome to the Travel Scouts. My name is Jason and we are your cruise information channel. We get you the cruise news and information you're looking for quickly without wasting your time. So if you love cruising, consider subscribing. Okay, we've got 10 top cruise news headlines. Let's go ahead and kick it off with number one. Yesterday, Canard canceled their transatlantic cruise on the Queen Mary 2 at the last minute. The ship was set to depart England for a one-way seven-night cruise to New York yesterday, but just hours before the scheduled departure, guests received a text and email saying the sailing was canceled. This was due to a technical issue with the ship. Guests are receiving a full refund along with a 20% future cruise credit. However, guests are now left with the dilemma of finding alternative transportation from England. Number two, Holland America is offering a pole-to-pole -pole cruise from the United States in 2025. This will be aboard their Volendam cruise ship and it will depart from Fort Lauderdale in January of 2025. The ship will sail south through the Panama Canal to Antarctica. It will then go to the Arctic top of the world to North Cape. All in all, the cruise is 133 days long and it will visit five continents, 28 countries, and 68 total ports of call during the sailing. Moving on to number three, Norwegian Cruise Line has made some cancellations. Their Norwegian Dawn cruise ship is currently doing a transatlantic sailing from New York to England. Yesterday, the ship had to cancel a stop in Iceland due to bad weather. Today, the Norwegian Dawn has canceled their stop in Newfoundland due to threat of icebergs. Just remember, it was in mid-April when the Titanic hit an iceberg in the North Atlantic as well. That may have been a good call there, Captain. On other fronts, Norwegian has also announced the cancellation of their 2025 transatlantic crossing on board the Norwegian Breakaway. This cancellation is due to a change in the ship's 2025 scheduled dry dock plan. Number four, this summer there will be some new transportation options for those cruising from Florida. This summer, Florida will open the United States' second fastest train, offering a connection between Miami and Orlando and vice versa. There will be 16 total round trips daily. I will put the service times down in the video description. Total time for the route is three hours. Tickets will be available at the beginning of May and will cost $79 per person, or you can buy four tickets for $199. The train will also make stops in West Palm Beach, Boca Raton, Fort Lauderdale, and Aventura. Number five, this weekend the MSC Meraviglia began its year-round sailings from Brooklyn, New York, and this is a big deal for a few reasons. First, historically the major cruise lines have not had a year-round presence in New York and MSC is changing that. Second, with this move, the MSC Meraviglia could be said to be the city's largest hotel of sorts. New York's largest hotel is considered to be the famous New York Marriott Marquise near Times Square with 1,971 rooms. The MSC Meraviglia beats that by quite a bit with 2,224 rooms. And I know that cruise ships are not exactly hotels, but hey, it's still the biggest. Okay, five cruise news pieces remaining, including the top headlines of the day. But real quick, we have not done a cruise check-in in several weeks, so so chime in below, what is the next cruise ship that you are currently scheduled to be sailing on? Chime in with that, I will love reading that. For us, our next cruise will be in less than a month on Carnival's Mardi Gras cruise ship and immediately after that we will be getting on the Carnival Liberty. We also have some other big announcements that will be coming up so stay tuned. But chime in with your next cruise and now on with the cruise news. Number six, a cruise documentary series will begin on the Discovery Channel in May. The series is called Maritime Masters Expedition Antarctica and it will follow life on board the ultra-luxury Scenic Eclipse cruise ship on its sailings to Antarctica. The series aims to give an insider's view of all areas of the ship, its staff, cuisine, amenities, and more. And number seven, a quick update on the Carnival Cruise passengers with last week's viral video showing them catching a fish from their stateroom balcony. Carnival Cruise Line has announced that the couple in the video has been banned for life from Carnival Cruises. And I think most of us probably saw that coming. And then some big news from the weekend, Number eight, a family is suing celebrity cruises for $1 million 
for letting their family member's corpse decompose in a drink cooler for six days. The 78-year-old man died from a cardiac event on board the Celebrity Equinox cruise ship last August. The family said they were told the body would be stored in an onboard morgue. However, reportedly unknown to them, the morgue was not working and the body was stored in a body bag in a beverage cooler. Because the body was not stored at the right temperature, the body expanded with gas and the skin turned green. The family was unable to have an open casket funeral or wake, and they are suing the cruise line. Next, number nine, there is a sickness outbreak on board the Grand Princess cruise ship. The CDC is reporting this event as a sickness outbreak. Currently, 75 passengers and 22 crew members are reported to have the illness. The primary symptoms are vomiting and diarrhea. The cruise ship has increased cleaning and disinfection procedures in accordance with the ship's outbreak prevention and response plan. And number 10, due to recent positive COVID-19 cases, Princess Cruises is recommending that their guests return to wearing a mask on board one of their ships. This took place on board the Coral Princess cruise ship. The cruise line did not state how many positive cases there were, but did note that all cases had either no symptoms or mild symptoms. The cruise line is not requiring masks, but they are recommending them to be worn indoors anytime time guests are outside of their staterooms unless they are eating or drinking. Okay, subscribe and turn the notification bell on to stay up to date with the latest cruise news and information. The next video will be coming out soon, but until then, keep on cruising and we'll catch you in the next video.